Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Chris Wistead, and I run the Takeover Shop, where I sell editing packs and presets for content creators. So today, we're gonna be talking about how to like manage your workspace, making it look a little bit better for editing short from content. But before we go ahead and get started into the tutorial, I wanna let you guys know that the OG setup is back. I also got a uh, Shake Sauce rug. The rug's actually super, super sick. Um, also got some LEDs in my kitchen, which I thought were pretty fire. Literally just did that for the videos because um, we're going to be going hard on YouTube this month. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is sort of the uh, workspace that you kind of get when you first load up. Uh, it might look a little bit different, but um, this is not what I like to edit in. I feel like it's just a little bit clunky. This is what I like to edit in for sure from content. I like to uh, have all my effect controls over here. Just so that way I have like a big spot to really edit and make keyframes. My entire workspace down here, audio and my project bin as well. I feel like it's just like a great little like layout. Let's go ahead and show you how to get this. So first things first, let's go ahead and make the program all the way to the right. So that way it's kind of got that full screen effect going. Um, and let's drag the source over here. All right, cool. So now that we have this over on this side, we want to go ahead and right click over here. And then we want to go to panel group settings and we want it to be a stacked panel personal preference i just like to see it stacked and let's go ahead and drag and drop these onto the right so just drag it over to the right size it and then just continue dragging and dropping and honestly it looks like we're gonna have to redo the um the stacking so just right click Panel group settings again, stack to panel group, and then you'll go ahead and get that nice little stack going again. Um, I also like to throw effects over here as well. Okay, so we're actually getting somewhere. If uh, if it's like not like closing or whatever, or it's not stacked, then make sure you just drag it into the middle bar with all of these, so that way it actually is included. Anyways, so now that we have sort of pretty much everything pretty close to done, let's go ahead and just affect the timeline real quick. Let's make sure our audio bar is like tiny, make sure we get as much distance as we can in the timeline. And now over here is like sort of where the files are. Now I personally don't like having my media bin so big. So we're gonna go ahead and just drag it over here to the right, make it smaller, just like so simply because I feel like I don't ever really need like a crazy big amount of space for a media bin. Um, I like to have room for my keyframes, like I said earlier. So let's go ahead and go to window because we need our effect controls, which I'm actually not seeing effect control. Oh, right here. Um, grab your effect controls. But if you can't find any tab, just go to window or go to, uh, yeah, go to window and then just like click whatever you need. Um, but I think that's actually everything I need. I'm actually gonna throw text over here over here in this little tab as well. So I got text, effects, controls, etc. And honestly, that's pretty much all I do for my workspace, simply because it's just like, it's super easy to be able to go like, like, yo, okay, I need like a media bin right here, huge timeline, you know what I mean? So I click this and then I see all of my effect controls right here so I could scale it up, scale it down, scale to just whatever. And then when I do need like my, uh, my takeover presets to come out, I just literally go over here, type in my presets, which by the way, if you haven't copped and you're looking for a dope preset pack to save you hours and hours of your time, um, cop this preset pack, it's pretty good. I built it with short form content editors in mind, but honestly, I use these for all my YouTube videos as well. So it's a pretty, pretty killer pack. Say we just wanna go ahead and throw a preset onto the, uh, the logo, but you just go like that, slide in, slide up, killer dude. And then that's like literally, my entire workspace it's what works for me and i've definitely crushed it using this workspace so anyways guys i know it was a quick and easy tutorial today if you guys liked and enjoyed the video please leave a comment down below and subscribe i'll see you guys on my instagram remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out